What's up guys, it's your girl Chelsea and I'm back with another video. And as you remember that title, you already know what I'm doing. And if you haven't subscribed, what are you doing? So, you know what, I'll wait. All right, so, if you have not seen part one of this video, go ahead now, check it out. It should be there or there, but I'm, I'm thinking it's here. Go check it out. I made um like a champagne-ish color gloss and a clear glitter gloss. So now, I didn't want to come back and do this for y'all, but I did want three glosses made. So I'm coming back with the nude gloss. So hopefully this video is not too long because the first time I made these glosses, I did not know what to expect. I didn't know what I was doing. So now I kind of can, you know, now I kind of know more what to expect a little bit more. So I'm not even gonna put that much stuff in here. I promise I'm not because baby, I only want to fill up one container of um. I don't want to fill up one gloss container. Like I said, I'm not going to go into details what I'm doing. Check out part one. That's where you can find all the details. Trial and error with me. This is more so to just get this third color made and see what I was talking about, what I like. You know, that's pretty much more, more so what this video is for. So basically, this is the consistency I got. Which is fine with me. I, I like that. So, boom, just sprinkle a little bit of this new. Now, I, I'm gonna say a little bit goes a long way. So therefore, we probably do not need to put much of this in there. So I'm gonna try to sprinkle. If you saw my last video, I kind of tried to sprinkle something and the vibe came out. So I do recommend I do recommend um, using like a measuring tool because as you can see, this is from what I was making earlier. All the stuff did there. And it, I don't know if it's the pigments I bought, but my pigments are kind of hard to um, mix. Now that's mixed, this is what the nude is looking like. I don't think I'm gonna put any glitter in it just for my people who are just like, you know, simple. I want too much, just a plain solid color. Bam, it's nude, there it is. So, this is really pretty. That's the nude look like on my lips, guys. Really can't tell, like, it's too, too nudy. I might need to put a little bit more. You can tell it's nude, though. Like, let me, here we go, guys. New lip test. New gloss. Like, it's got the new uh, tint. I don't want y'all to be like, this is clear. No, baby, it's a new tint. You see it. That's the lips of your girl. New tint. Let me turn this brightness down so that way you really can see. Baby, that's. That even kind of took some off, but it's a new color. It just might not show up on these big black woman lips, but as you can see. Yeah, nice little shine to it. Yeah, that's the color. I was gonna add more pigment, but as you can see, it is new. Like if your lips was not as probably brown as mine, it would probably look more new. I ain't gonna lie, just just for fun and giggles, I am gonna add a little bit more. So let me do that.
So as you know, we're gonna try it on camera. This is what it looked like. It looked pinkish. The people said no, I'm a college dude. This is the new collection. It's gonna be in the new. It's gonna be under new on the website, beautybatchos.com. So, this is more, which this is a lot actually, but but whatever. Now this just gave, mm. <laughs> what the heck is going on? Okay, I like it. Like, I, I ain't gonna say I want it on my lips, but ain't nothing wrong with it. Like I'll put this over a little um, lip, a lipstick. I mean, it's fine. My lips, the color of my lips just don't go well with this. Y'all know. Pinkish kind of lips. It's just not, you know. If you know, you know. Ugh, I'm so oily, guys. But, that's what it's like. Let's, let's, and I didn't do this in the first video, but I'm, I'm liking this idea in the second one, so. Kiss test. Ooh, baby, I don't know. This like, I got my whole dang chin on here. My lips. Not that dang big, but okay, whatever. So, that's the first one, that's the second one. I guess you can see like, let me dim the lights a little bit again. I don't know, to me the first one looked darker. So I guess that was more oil, like the oil probably made the color look. The oil made the color look a little darker. Ooh. Look at this boy. Okay, give it up, clap, clap. Okay. Bravo. So as you can see, this one look lighter and it's probably because it, this is the one that got more pigment in it. So this one is the one with the pigment and I'm gonna go with this actually. I really like that. So yeah, that's what we're going with. So let me put it in my tube, you know. I feel like y'all, y'all want to see that part. So I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to put it in, in the tube for y'all. So this is how much is in here, which is, as y'all can see, it's like right here, which is okay because, you know, we got to do the whole plunger thing. Okay, so y'all, these are the glosses. This is what it looks like. If you watched the first video, you saw these two. I made these two. This is the glitter shimmer gloss, which is I called it shimmer. I you see I didn't added some little labels to these. I don't know if you can see that kind of got water on it, but this is champagne. And now this is gonna be nude. And I love like how there's different tops and everything and it just goes well with each color so yeah guys that's that how that about wraps up this video if you want to know how to make uh stickers like this or labels like this it's very easy and cheap just let me know put it down in the comments i will teach you but yeah that's what they look like and you know i'm gonna add a label to this so if you stay tuned, there will be a picture there. Bye, guys.